Here's a video describing how to replace your batteries. And um, what I have here is the Razer E300. So I've already done a few steps. Uh, just quickly, just unscrewed all the screws. The one kind of back here in the tail, there's a, a nut on the underside that you'll need to grab as you unscrew that. And I've actually taken the other batteries out, but let me go through some of the tools you need as you do this. The first one is this uh, wire stripper. Um, these wires are 14 gauge, so as you strip them, you'll just uh, use the 14 notch here. So of course you'll need a screwdriver to uh, get the screws undone. And uh, this is something that you'll need. This is a female disconnect. This is for 14 to 16 gauge. It's also one quarter inch. And these are insulated. Uh, if you go online, you'll probably only find um, boxes of like 100 of these. If you go to Home Depot, you can find these that only have 15 for about three or four bucks. So when you first unscrew this, it'll just lift off. Then you'll need to unscrew a second thing. It's this bracket and a little foam piece that'll be holding the batteries in place right there. And you want to then use this tool right here. It has a wire cutter part and just cut the wires as close to the battery as you can. It has these connectors, but the new batteries I got do not have a connector. So here are the, the new batteries I got. They come in a set of two. I got these off of Amazon for about $55. <coughs> you can see it's 12 volt. It's nine amp hours, which is actually an upgrade from the batteries that I'm replacing. Those are only seven amp hours. And that's going to allow you to get a longer uh, runtime before you need to charge them. So basically, what we're going to do is use these connectors to connect to the end of the batteries here. You can see it's just going to slide right on. And then this end will use this crimping tool up here where it says 14 to 16 and that you crush it on the wire and you put that in to connect this to the wire. So let me go through that whole process once. I'll take this one and you want to go back about a quarter inch. So again, it's 14 gauge. So I'll come here where it says 14, go back about a quarter inch. Now I'm not measuring this exactly and uh, give it a squeeze. Turn it a little bit, give it a squeeze. You try to break it here until you can pull that off and expose the wire. And then here, you take one of these, you put it in. You kind of twist these together a little bit. Now the parts you're gonna crimp is right here in the center. So you want the wire to go into there and you take this tool and you find where it says uh, 14. This will basically just crush, give it a good squeeze. There you go, you got a good connection. So I'll do that to the, the three remaining wires. Okay, so once you have all those connections made, you wanna connect the wires to the batteries. Now, there's just two things you need to keep in mind, is that the red wires will go to the red, the positive terminals. The black will go to the, uh, the negative. And then here, after you cut them, you can see there's two long ones, two short ones. So the two short ones will go to the near battery, two long ones will go to the far battery. Um, I also took a picture of the wiring before I cut them off the old batteries, so I can share that with you. Then uh, go ahead and make your connection. You wanna make sure the switch on the side of the battery or the side of the scooter is in the off position. 
Então. Now you're going to lay these down on their side, facing away from each other. Once you get those laid down like this, tops facing away from each other, tight fit, so there's a wire that runs back to the motor. Just want to kind of make sure you're not putting it on top of that wire to you run the wire down along this side. After you get that done, start putting things back together. First is this bracket. All that's left to do is this back on.